Hoffman bringing us to green late models coming at you race fans it's showtime green flag in the air Pierce or Hoffman who's going to get the initial drive it'll be Pierce Bobby Pierce down the back straight away in 32 he'll jump to the earlier race lead it'll be Pierce to the bottom Nick Hoffman trying to roll through the middle Tim McCready up top with him Chris Madden down to the bottom side by side almost for the race lead Hoffman with a run oh contact here at the start finish line Nick Hoffman had a great run around the outside of Bobby Pierce Pierce didn't know he was there and some contact directly underneath the flag stand Good job, everybody. We keep on a racing. Pierce is your leader on lap one. Hoffman now down to the bottom again, side by side. Nick Hoffman's gonna roll right on bottom of the lead in nine. Five score, 20 to go. Trouble turn number four. That might be Frank Heckenest. That is Frankie Heckenest Jr. has rolled to a halt. Green flag back out, Tim McCready, a great restart. There goes T-Mac. Tim McCready down to the bottom. He's going to slide to the inside of the nine, take the lead. McCready's your new race leader down the back straight away. Bobby Pierce going to come right with him in the 32. Pierce going to go to second. Hoffman shuffled back to third. Tim McCready, your new race leader off turn four. Tim McCready will lead at the line in 39. Bobby Pierce second. Here comes the one of Hudson O'Neill. Oh, McCready again to the outside of the racetrack in three and four. Pierce all right there is going to follow him around. Hudson O'Neill down to the bottom. They're going to see the back of the field here in just a second. They're about a half a lap away from figuring out how to negotiate traffic. 13 scored, 12 to go. Halfway through this one. It's been a good one thus far. Tim McCready way up top that time. McCready got into hot slider from Bobby Pierce. Do you have a new leader? You do. Bobby Pierce up the line. Pierce your leader in 32. McCready got in there a little bit hot. Pierce threw a monster slider and Hudson O'Neill might get both of them. Hudson O'Neill down the back straight away. Going to work to the inside of the 39. McCready will take second. Down the back straight away. Pierce now up and over the cushion. You've got your second new leader off turn four. Hudson O'Neill's going to lead it at the line in one with 10 to go. It's Hudson O'Neill, your leader. Bobby Pierce second. Nick Hoffman now rolling again up top of the nine. Hoffman going to move by McCready into the top three here. Let's see if Pierce can get back to the rocket one here and battle for the lead with less than 10 to go. Hudson O'Neill started outside of the third row, picked his way to the front, and as we said, he's opened up a two-second advantage with three to go. Tim McCready's trying to charge around the bottom. No lap cars between first and second now. Let's see if T-Max got anything to run down your leader. We're going to score lap 23 here. Tim McCready and everybody else running out of time. Hudson O'Neill has gone to the outside, though. He's got to go where the lap cars are. And here comes T-Max. McCready, it was 1.89 seconds. It's .7. He shaved a full second. Down the back straight away. T-Max might have run out of time. Into turn three, checkered flag's going to be out. The opening night for the dirt car late models off turn four. Hudson O'Neill wins it in one. Volusia Speedway Park, he's out of the car. How about it, your winner, Hudson O'Neill? Yeah, man, uh, they, I don't know. This one also almost means more than the rest of them. Uh, we struggled so bad whenever we came here. Uh, in January and I knew we, we hot lapped pretty good and we didn't qualify quite the way we wanted to but I knew that we had uh, we had potential and and after that heat race man I was pumped up I was ready to go I, I thought I had a pretty good race car and I uh, mean it just uh, unbelievable they Mark Danny Joel Austin Cody they gave me a gave me an unbelievable race car night to drive and uh, it's uh, it's just pretty awesome to be standing up here to be honest yeah, it's exciting, no doubt. Uh, I thought the racetrack was awesome. I was able to kind of get a get a run off the top of one and two there, and that's kind of what just set me up to get the lead down in three and four. And but man, we raced all over this thing. We it, uh, it was actually pretty fun. It, it uh, reminded me of the old of the old Volusia. And it, uh, but without everyone on this race car, it wouldn't be possible. Valvoline, Soiber calf ranches, performance grading. Uh, Ace Metalworks, Gunners Honey, uh, O'Neill Savage Recycling, WR1 Sim Chassis, Snowco Fuel, Integra Racing Shocks, Rocket Pre-Owned. Um, cool, really, really cool. I, you know, we had a great week over at East Bay, and uh, it, it's uh, it's so cool to come over here. And, as, and the trip that we had earlier in the year, uh, it uh, it just feels good to redeem ourselves.